IFRS 4 Phase 2 is going to be very important to companies because it will fundamentally change a lot of the financial information that insurers communicate on a regular basis to their stakeholders. There will be a new standard with uniform rules and a measurement framework that applies across the entire globe. The level of detail that you need to apply in, in your reporting, it's very, very detailed. I think that the first challenge I will have to face too is a communication challenge because this IFRS phase two uh, standard will be another way to deliver an economic view on the insurance companies. The level at which you have to measure insurance contracts is going to change dramatically. The key issue here, I think, is mastering the amount of data that will be involved for the various reporting purposes that you have. What kind of IT system can support the uh, new IFRS phase two, phase 2 accounting? The uh, IT investment is a really huge headache for many companies. When you set up this new measurement framework, you still have to make a lot of choices. You are stuck with these choices for decades to come. So all these choices should not be taken lightly and should be considered from a global strategic viewpoint. I think there are going to be a lot of challenges as companies look to adopt this. I think a lot of the European companies are going to be a little farther ahead because some of the underlying methodologies, the models, the governance processes are going to be similar to what they've seen in Solvency 2. And other companies are going to be more challenged because they haven't been through that process. There are many things to do. The IFRS phase 2 is different from embedded value or Solvency 2. The Japanese FSA is thinking about implementing both IFRS phase 2 and Solvency 2 at the same time due to their similarity. So the headache is how to efficiently keep the uh, historical information in a fairly granular level and as frequent as quarterly or even monthly. IFRS phase 2 is very complex by nature and uh, it will take time to get used to it. So the companies should practice hard how to digest or interpret the uh, financial results before uh, it actually going out to the public. The prudential reporting now involves actuarial models and actuaries. The role of the actuary is clearly uh, more uh, visible than before among the, the, the company. Now you see a trend to actuaries becoming more like advisors. You definitely need actuarial experts who are able to dig in all these technical details, but at the same time have this strategic global overview of what the implications of the whole new framework are. So you can have a lot of data, you can have a lot of information, but understanding it, what does it mean? It requires actuarial knowledge, but also a lot of business knowledge. You need teams which are nimble, and you need to have a lot of different skill sets to not only survive, but, but to thrive in this kind of an environment. Because so much of this new standard is dependent upon calculations that the actuarial community will have to be involved with. Milliman has software to make those calculations. We have the experience in developing the models, the tools, the analysis, the governance processes, such as involved in Solvency II, and we're independent. They're seeing the entire marketplace, and they're seeing what your competitors are doing, as well as non-insurance companies in terms of the way they're approaching the adoption of this new standard. And they can give you insights as to best practices. The fact that Milliman is a global actuarial consultancy firm means that we can operate completely independent and that there are no conflicts of interests. Independence or objectivity is very important in developing the processes because you want to make sure that they are correct, that you're not being influenced by other parts of your organization that may be driven by needs from any insurance company. Milliman's global reach and our significant understanding of local markets, local regulations, as well as our significant involvement with the preparation for Solvency II in Europe gives us the ability to bring all of those things together to support IFRS reporters in any jurisdiction.